What up, Jazz fam? Bam, it's your boy, man, back again on this second video of the day. I didn't want to go out with a negative response or a negative tip, you know, and, and uh, seeing that loss for the Jets last night. So I'm going to I'm going to break this down on some real factors of what we should be proud of as being Jets fans of what we saw last night with all the adversity, with 12 men on the field, with Taylor Swift's lipstick, all of it, man. We're going to bring it in and we're going to bring this together because we saw a team with an L fight through adversity and to learn themselves. You know, these men last night, they grew up together last night. When you saw Randall Cobb and Lazard supporting Zach after that loss, Zach grew up last night, man. Hey, don't fret, Jets fans. I think this loss is about to be the becoming of our wins moving forward in this season. It's not over yet. We just found out Zach tapped into his potential and what we were waiting for. You know what I'm saying? Listen, I know there's probably going to be more hiccups in the road with Zach. But I think Zach figured it out last night. I think he I think he found something in himself to become that that guy for the Jets in the future. I really feel like that. And with the support behind him it just helps helps him grow as a, a individual on that field to really take this game a little more serious and to really gather the simple com, uh, concepts of knowing how to see a defense before the defense can react. I think there was a lot going on behind the scenes, you know? And um, big ups to Robert Sala. Big ups to Robert Sala. He spoke for all of his Jets fans. He's a real rider for his team. He cares about his family on that field, just like every Jet fan in that stadium. And I think we grew up last night, man. I, I, I feel something. I feel good about... <laughs> I know I said last night, it's not a feel-good loss. But no, I, I had to review some of that. And um, just going forward. Let me go here. Zach Wilson, 28-39, 245 yards, two touchdowns, no picks. The best game of his career by far. Against Jake... By State Farm. <laughs> I'm sorry. Against the Chiefs. Let's just keep them 100. <laughs> but y'all know that shit was so gimmicky last night, man. That, that Come on, man. But anyway, the Jets hung in there and they made it a game. And, and we, in my opinion, should have took it. There were some mistakes that where we, we, where we shot ourselves in the foot. You know what I mean? With that fumble by Zach. But, um. It was just good. It was an all-around good feeling, man. There's a lot of intangibles to take away from this loss yesterday. You know what I mean? And um, like I said, the team rallied around Zach after the loss. And that, and, and, and you saw Robert Sala. His heart was on his sleeve. He showed that real emotion that we was always looking for within him. You know what? I respect. I, I just have more respect for Robert Sala, man. He brought that Rex Ryan back, that feeling like, man, he's fighting for his squadron. You feel me? Um, and going forward, I think this is a positive, man. We we face the uh, Broncos next week. Oh, yeah, that's a personal game, too. So I think Zach's about to light it up. I don't know. I know I might need to pump the brakes, but I feel like Zach found something in himself last night with that loss. And the 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 O line did their job to the you know they they look better. Um, I think we need to stick with the run a little bit more. Come on, Hackett, you got to look at Brees Hall. You got a weapon at your disposal, but it takes Zach to open that running game up too. So it's all gonna come together though. I think I think we needed that loss last night. I think we really did to find the real heart within this team. When they called that holding, when they called the holding on uh, my boy Sauce, I said, shit, that was chippy as hell, man. 
That was chippy as hell. What cornerback doesn't do that in the NFL? A good cornerback at that. Revis used to do it. Like, you know, kind of. But they're just, they're in the play. How are you going to throw a flag on that one? After the pick, though. <laughs> That's what I'm still mad about. After the goddamn pick. But, again, this team jailed together, man. It's showing unity. And it's showing um, surviving after adversity. You know, in life, without adversity, you wouldn't really know who you are and how you deal with adversity to move forward and to grow. And that's what we saw in the Jets last night. So I just wanted to throw that out there, man, because we ain't going out like that. And I think we got plenty of game left in this season for the Jets and everything that's going on, man. And Zach, you done grown up today, buddy. You done grown up last night for today, buddy. You feel me? So I just had to throw it. I had to throw a better video out there because the Jets ain't going out like that, man. We got something to look forward to in this young squadron, this young feisty ass squadron with a a, a fiery ass Robert Sala on the sideline. Like, mm, man, that's what I like to see last night, bro. Hey, that really got to me last night. I'm not lying. That was some good. So, Jets fans, don't don't fret, man. All I'm saying, we had some fight in this last night, and it, and it was a good. It was a good L for us to grow up to get them W's going forward. Let me know what you think in the comments below. And as always, J E T S, Jets, Jets, Jets. Let's get it. I'll be in touch. One love.